Mr. Malunga, thank you very much for your time. Perhaps before I talk about what you've experienced in the last seven years, what's next for you? There's a lot. Uh, uh, obviously, when you're a gladiator for justice, that's, that's just your life till the day you die, you know, that's what you do, you do. Mm. Let me pick up on those words then you've just mm. used. Mm. Do you believe you've been a gladiator for justice in that office? What are some of the highlights and perhaps lows? Um, <clears throat> oh, absolutely. I think I, I don't want to honk, honk my own horn, as the Americans say, but uh, I think it's been a very good innings. Um, we have dealt with thousands of uh, ordinary people's issues, R brought them back their life. The other day I was in SAFM and one of the callers who's, who, uh, whose mother had helped actually called in to say, you know, uh, my mother's pension is now resolved. Um, so it's those real life stories uh, that actually matter more <laughs> than the high profile uh, stuff that obviously is, is more uh, prevalent in the media. So the high highlights have really been, as I said, uh, the, the resolving uh, financial difficulties for, for, for very impoverished people or did the disempowered, you know. A nurse who has retired seven years later, she still hasn't got her pension, you know, a, from the homelands, a, a community that has had no water for six months and you go in there and you, and you fight for that. Um, so that's probably the, 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 you know, when you see that face, I remember Mr. Morocco, you know, there was a Mr. Morocco in Bloemfontein, uh, in, not, not really Bloemfontein, but just aside, uh, you know, he was driving his car, minding his own business, and a state employee writes off his car, right? And then he's out of work. He can't work. He can't, he, he's not passing, you know, he's running a taxi business. And we finally managed to get that money from Statistics South Africa for him to get his money. And so, so, so those kind of things are very important. Mm -hmm. But the, the issue of accountability, entrenching the, count, uh, the culture of accountability in the Republic, that now the government knows at all levels that they must account, that they are not a law unto themselves. And that actually leads me to ask you, what have been the low points of being in that office? Look, I, I, I think there have been, uh, you know, some low points in terms of, uh, uh, if I can say, uh, unnecessary excitement out there over some of the issues that, 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 that uh, uh, come through. And of course, I think for me, politicization of the office uh, is a challenge in the sense that, I mean, it's something that I don't think any public protector will ever be able to run away what from. What brought that about? Yeah. Politicization? Polit po public. Well, politicization of the office is largely a, 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 a result of, <laughs> it's a result of our success <laughs> in many ways, in the sense that, you know, there, there is now a judgment that says if you don't like uh, uh, things, you must take them on review. And of course, the reality is that the law allows to say, there is a, a loophole that allows political office bearers to go after their opponents uh, Let me ask use, you using uh, uh, the platform of the office sometimes. You yeah. talk about politicization mm -hmm. of the office. Mm -hmm. There's been much talk about the person that is likely to succeed you, mm -hmm. this uh, uh, colleague, Talega, mm -hmm. and there has been talk of her proximity to political office. The current public protector, Mosesu uh, Mkweba, mm -hmm. mm -hmm much of the same argument would have uh, uh, been in the public do domain about mm -hmm. uh, her close or potentially close relationship to the former president. How, how's your assessment of how that office is likely to handle matters from here on? Um, look, I'm not a, 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 a sangom of any kind, but what I can say is, <laughs> is that I can tell you the principles uh, that must be uh, that must be followed. You know, regardless of whether you've had friends or, or what, you really need to cut loose. You know, I've, I've done that. You need to cut loose. You need to do this work without fear, favor, or prejudice. You stick to the Constitution. Section 181 and 182 is very clear. Because in any event, these things come back later on to say, you know, you, you will be reporting on that. Hey, huh, these people cooked a report. So, 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 so the, 
I'll speak about the principles. And, and by politicization, I'm not talking about the incumbents. I'm talking about outsiders. When they say, ah, you know, Koli is a, 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 a mayor of this other, or that other city, uh, let's, let's go after him because he's our political opponent. Do you get my point? So, so you get a lot of that, that tit for tat kind of, uh, uh, those tit for tat kind of complaints. And of course, they happen in court as well, in litigation. It's not, it's not unique to this office, but it has to be managed vigilantly, that you actually at all times are impartial. As I said, you do your work without fear, favor, or prejudice, and, and, and it will be fine. And I think we should avoid making these institutions about uh, personalities, because incumbents come and go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going. I'm going into the sunset. I'm, I'm very happy to be going. But the point is, right. uh, you know, you, the values are here to stay. All right. Uh, let's leave it right there. Uh, Mr. Kevin Malunga, who wants to go on to be the gladiator of justice, <laughs> wherever, <laughs> wherever that takes you. Oh, Thank yes. You that reminds you of <laughs> Roman times. It was the days of Chaga, you know? <laughs> the warrior. Warrior of justice. Thank you. <laughs>